October 20, 2001. Oregon's first defense of Austin Stadium as the site of the longest home winning streak in the nation. 23 games. The Stanford Cardinals playing in a full stadium for the first time all season. Used it as motivation and jumped on top early. Carter behind Moore. Fasoni under center. And we'll give it to Moore driving right over the middle and he'll get the touchdown. Oregon came right back, turning it into a back and forth game. Back to throw, Joy's gonna roll right, stop, throw to the end zone, and it's a touchdown to Howry. Fasani, gonna go back and hand it off and try to get it outside, and he will. Inside of the two and one, and touchdown, Carter. Second and 10 at the 15, Joy back to throw. Looks, throws it into the end zone. Peel says, no way am I dropping this one. Harrington under center, back split. And Joey back to throw again. A little roll to the right, stop, sets, wants to go deep, wide open. Howry down to the inside. What a grab for the touchdown. Incredible. Keenan Howry lays it out and brings it in and celebrates with another touchdown. And Oregon's on top. Oregon scored 21 points in the opening quarter, but couldn't pull away from the Cardinal. Their big offensive line providing the push while their running backs provided the points. Here's fourth and inches. And turn and hand it to Carter. Got the first down and the touchdown. And to get it in, he did. Still, Oregon led 28-21 at the half. And showed signs of putting the game away, especially after Keenan Howry escaped early in the third quarter. Maybe the end zone. Here's the punt. Wobbly end over end, very returnable. Howry makes the grab, gets by one guy. Now two, oh, they're gonna throw the flag. No matter what happens, this one's coming back. Howry breaks free at the 40, now the 50. Uh, He's free. He's gonna score, and they're gonna bring it back. He's gonna score, and they're gonna bring it back. There's no foul on the play. Oh, you're kidding me. Stanford now with their second string quarterback, Chris Lewis, on in place of an injured Randy Pisani, kept the pressure on the Ducks, completing a long drive and going on top to finish it off. A play that looked like an interception and ended with a Stanford six. There's Teo Johnson. He makes the grab over Bowman for the touchdown. So once again, the Cardinal were within seven, but not for long. It will be Ontario at the 5 to the 10 and the 20 gets through. Look out. 30. He's off to the racers. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's going to go all the way. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Ontario Smith. 96 yards. Special teams had given the Ducks a 14-point lead through three quarters. But it would be special teams in the fourth quarter that would give it right back. Pressure comes, and it is blocked. Ball is blocked, and Stanford has the ball inside the Oregon 20-yard line. Fortunately for Oregon, the Cardinal did not take advantage of the blocked punt. But when Oregon lined up to kick it again, the unthinkable happened. Another blocked punt. Cardinals battling the ball around, and it'll be Stanford's ball inside the 20 in almost the same place it was again. And this time, Stanford goes straight to the end zone to make the Ducks pay. Lewis throws the perfect pass, and they are within seven again. Halfway through the fourth quarter, and Oregon still has not crossed the 50-yard line. As it turns out, the offense never gets a chance. Head coach Ty Willingham pulls one out of his hat and goes with the onside pooch kick. And remarkably, the Cardinal get it before it ever touches the ground. A few plays later, they were in the end zone and only a blocked extra point kept the Ducks on top. But it was clear this was not Oregon's day. On the ensuing possession, Joey Harrington was hit on third down and intercepted. A few plays later, the Stanford Cardinal had their first lead of the second half as Carter took it over from the three. 49-42, Stanford. Oregon did have one last chance, but this time it was not meant to be. The streak had ended. But what began that day in Austin Stadium was a new purpose for the Ducks, a new challenge, and a new determination.